Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. I hope your week has been going great so far. Now, just another week from today, it'll be Thanksgiving, and we do have a break after this next couple of days. There's some more news coming around campus for you guys to hear, so stick around, because this is the Lion Pride News. Today's birthdays are Jose Gonzalez, Sarah Williams, Zachary Davis, and Caleb Santa Cruz. And to continue with the birthdays over next week's holiday break, on Wednesday we have Chase Iker and Ali Spicer. And the birthdays on the following Friday are Brooklyn Garland, Elvia Quintero Pina, Felix Mendez, Jermaine Forbes, Jalen Coleman, and Starlin White. Ms. Anderson's oral communication class recently caught up with some of our new teachers here at Foley High School. To find out more about them, let's take a look. Hey Foley High School, I'm Sam. And I'm Victoria, and this is Ms. Simmons. Hello. She's a new teacher at Foley High School. Um, so, Ms. Simmons, how do you like Foley so far? I like it. We just moved here from Tennessee, so I'm new to Alabama, so I'm learning all about the culture and all the stuff going on down here at the beach. Um, how is Foley different from other schools you taught at? I've never taught at a school that has computers in the hands of every student, so I'm adjusting and learning how to use that technology in my classroom. I've never had a chance to do that before. That's interesting. Um, so what other options did you ever explore when you were younger besides teaching? When I first started college, I was an accounting major because I like math. And I switched because I wanted to work with kids, and back then I was also a coach, so I wanted to coach sports. What would you say your style of teaching is? Uh, I'm pretty laid back. I have high expectations for my students and I expect them to follow the rules in the classroom. But I try to establish an environment that's pretty uh, laid back and positive where everybody feels comfortable asking questions and being successful. Okay, absolutely right. Um, what activities are you involved in on or off campus? I have a 15 year old, well 16 year old son, he just turned 16, that's in baseball, so I spend quite a bit of time following him around. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Hi FHS, I'm Alexandra. And I'm Savannah. And this is Miss Coppage, she's a new teacher at Foley High. Um, Miss Coppage, if you were another person, would you be friends with yourself? I think I would be. I'd be the best friend to be. <laughs> what interests or hobbies do you have outside of school? I like art and hiking and kayaking, camping, rocks, anything. Um, what is the first thing you notice when you look someone new? I joke that I automatically <laughs> notice their shoes. <laughs> I'm wearing Converse. Like, I like Converse. <laughs> I had lots of Converse. <laughs> How do you think other people would describe you? Usually a little silly, I suppose. Which is the most thing. A lot of people call me very shy. Um, what are your hopes for this school year? To make it through the school year, being my first year. Well, now that we've asked all our questions, is there anything else that you would like to add? Well, thank you for your time and thank you for doing this interview. No problem. This is a reminder to all. Please turn in all of your canned goods and donated clothing for the Turkey Takeout and the Jesus Care program and homeroom. These donations are to go to help those in need around the holidays. The deadline for the good cans is tomorrow. Here are some facts. If everyone at Foley High School brought in two cans each, we could feed 2,600 people for a day, 950 families of four for a day and 155 families for an entire week. Please, please do your part to help feed our community and we can be thankful for it. 
Hey guys, any of y'all participating in clubs out there might want to listen up to these next few announcements. All Pure Helpers, whether you have the class this year or not, there are a couple things you need to take care of this week. One, if you want to buy this year's shirt, they're $13. Go by Mrs. Champion's room to see the design and place your order. You may pay now or when they arrive, but you must go tell Mrs. Champion your shirt size by lunch Friday if you plan to get one. Once they're ordered, no extras will be ordered. Two, also all Pure Helpers need to return and your dollar for Salvation Army Angels this week too. The National Tech Honor Society will be selling nachos and cheese for $2 or room 308 tomorrow. There will be an FTA meeting at school today in room 808. All members must attend. For those interested in being a part of Friends of Exceptional Children, please do not forget and come by and get an application from Mrs. Goodwin or Mrs. M for FEC. The deadline for all applications is tomorrow. Key Club members, like her, <laughs> are selling beef jerky mystic to support the turkey takeout and Jesus Curve projects. And make a happier kid if you buy it from her. If the Key Club member doesn't have any, go to room 309. Buy one from her for one dollar. Can I have one please? Sure. Thank you. You're buy one. Any Foley Theater Company member interested in going to see the Nutcracker on December 9th, stop by and see Miss Anderson. This will be a great trip and a super way to prepare you for the holiday season. Today for lunch we're having chili with beef beans and baked potato or chicken quesadillas, rich style beans, baby carrots, fruit, sour cream, and grab and go. Have a good day. Thought of the day with Ashley Patterson. When life seems really difficult, when your dad's lost his job or your mom grounded you for two weeks or you've argued with a close friend, it can be hard to focus on what's good and right in the world. And it's a challenge to be grateful for anything. There's an old African proverb that goes, if something that was going to chop off your head only knocked off your cap, you should be grateful. In other words, things could always be worse. And it's useful to stop and think about what is right and good in the world. Like the roof over your head, the clothes on your back, and the privilege of getting an education. Take a moment right now and think about three things you are grateful for. That's what Thanksgiving is about. Have a great full holiday, everyone. With something to think about, this is Ashley Patterson. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. All right, everyone, that's all the news we've got going on today. And before we go, our shout-outs go to Christina Newell and Cody Dillon. Hope everyone has a great day.